Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, so this is quite exciting. I was recently contacted by a Japanese paint manufacturer called Kusakabe and they asked if I would like to try a new type of paint that they've been developing for the last 10 years called Aquila. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've been contacted by companies before to ask if I would review their products, but I'm basically not going to review something that I'm not genuinely interested in. I'm not going to bring anything up to you guys that I don't think you would be interested in. But with this, all they had to say was that it was like a mix of oil, acrylic, watercolour and gouache paint in one and I was sold. I had to try it. So, this set of paints arrived about a week or so ago and I've been using almost nothing else since just to sort of try and get to know it, try and get to know the ins and outs of it, get used to it before reporting back to you guys on my thoughts and feelings. And I did say to this company that I was gonna be 100% honest with you lot about those thoughts and feelings. So let's just see how it all went down. So to start off with, let me tell you a little bit about this paint. Akila is a water-based paint or Inogu, which is a Japanese word that means a tool to fulfill art. And I'm told its popularity in Japan has been growing fast. So there are actually Aquila painters who primarily use this paint the same way that we have oil painters and watercolour painters. And what I did before trying this paint and what you could do too is just to get a better idea of how it's used and what it looks like in finished pieces, you can check out some pretty cool examples of how artists have used Aquila on the Kusakabe website which I'll leave linked below. Using Aquila for the first time, I really didn't know what to expect, so I approached it with the idea that I would explore and test its apparent similarities to all these other mediums. I think one of the best ways to get to know something new is to compare it and relate it to what you already know. So straight out the tube, its consistency reminds me of acrylic paint and it applies smoothly to actually every surface I tested, paper, canvas, even glass. The booklet that came with my set of paints shows Aquila being used on things like stone, ceramic tile and wood. As far as I can see, you can essentially use this paint on anything. Also like acrylic paint, I found that Aquila starts to dry pretty quickly, which for me took some getting used to at first, as I found the paint on my palette getting quite tacky quite quickly. But that was something that I gradually got the hang of and I dealt with it by using larger quantities of paint at a time and adding a little bit of water to it. When Aquila is completely dry, you end up with a slightly glossy, almost matte finish. Definitely not as glossy as something like acrylic, and I found it's especially matte with that velvety gouache finish when you add a little bit of water to your mixture. Though I have to say, I haven't yet figured out how to get it to a completely streak-free consistency. But it's nice that the addition of a very small amount of water doesn't compromise the depth or vividness of the colour. And that was the real treat for me actually, that impressive colour payoff. Aquila comes in every colour you can think of. I think there are something like 76 different pigments, including these metallic ones, which uh, here I'm just trying to show you the glistening effect you get with the gold, bronze and silver. Now you know me, I love bold, bright colours and I have to say, Every shade straight out of the tube was lovely and vibrant and for the most part they did stay that way when mixed with other colours. Obviously as you'll get with any medium some combinations are going to end up looking dull or muddy but overall it was really nice for blending. Now back to the subject of adding water, when you dilute Aquila with more water it takes on more of a watercolour like look and I had no trouble creating washes of colour or that sort of blurred, blotchy, feathered look that I love to use for things like clouds or backgrounds. And I think this might be my favourite way to use this paint rather than laying it on thickly. With a little bit or a lot of water you can get a proper matte finish in varying levels of opacity. So it's like using gouache but with the freedom of being able to apply it to more than just paper. And I did notice that using it on canvas rather than paper actually made it a lot easier to get the flat colour finish that I was looking for with fewer streaks. Um, but some colours did work for that better than others. So depending on how much water you add to the paint and how thickly you apply it, it dries in between I'd say 1 and 30 minutes and then you can carefully actually add more layers of Aquila on top or surprisingly any other paint. So it can be great for underpainting, setting the tone of a piece of art or as part of a mixed media piece. But it is recommended that if you're using Aquila with acrylic paint, you apply the acrylic paint underneath. 
Now, like I said, the paint dries very quickly, but it can then be reactivated with water the same way you might with a dry watercolor or gouache painting after the painting has dried, which gives you a good amount of freedom to correct mistakes or make changes as you go. One thing I will say is that I found Aquila is harder to completely pick up and rework the same way that you would with gouache as it sort of stains the paper and leaves a trace of the shape where you originally put it. But if you're looking to pick up a specific colour and move it somewhere else or just spread a bit of dry paint a little bit further, that's definitely doable and really useful. And if you're trying to correct a mistake, you still always have the option to paint over it. This is actually a bit of an advantage over an issue I've had with gouache when layering paint causes the lower levels to reactivate and smudge with the fresh application. It's a lot less likely to happen with Aquila not shifting so much. And over time, Aquila gradually becomes water resistant. So after about a month or so, your painting will be totally set with no need to be sealed with a varnish or anything like that. So far, I've used this paint in a few different ways. In terms of its comparison with oil, I really don't know. I think that's to do with how thickly you can apply it to create really textured paintings. I like that it can be used with oil when dry. I think that's quite cool, but I don't know enough about the various properties and qualities of oil paint to make a proper comparison there. I definitely see the comparisons with acrylic, gouache and watercolor paints. I mean, it's really versatile, which makes it perfect for me. And on a bit of a side note, something that I thought was worth mentioning is that I looked a little deeper into not only this paint, but at Kusakabe, the company that provide it. And I was happy to find that they have the environment in mind. So these paints are eco-friendly, they are non-toxic, and they come in fully recyclable aluminium tubes. Okay, now looking at price, because I'm sure you all want to know, these are relatively affordable. Looking at the website, which I will have linked on screen and in the description, the price of a 12 set of paints is about 3340 something Japanese yen, which sounds like a lot, but it works out to be about £21 or $30. So I would say they're reasonably priced for what you get. If you're looking at comparing that to other sets of 12, 20 mil paints, you're pricing these with Aquila paints in that lower mid range between the cheap student grade paints and the pricier professional quality paints. And I think that's reflected in the finish. So overall, I'm impressed. Uh, above anything, I'm really pleased to have been able to try this paint and I'm really quite excited to see how its popularity will grow globally in years to come. Cause I do think it is one to watch. And even though it's not gonna take gouache's place in my top spot of mediums, because I don't think anything ever will, I will definitely be using Aquila to create the same type of art I've been creating with gouache, but now with the freedom to use different surfaces like canvas, and I did have so much fun painting on glass. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and obviously if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, don't be afraid to leave those below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Um, let me know what you think of this type of video. Obviously I haven't done something like this really before. It would be nice to know what you think of seeing me test and try new things. I definitely had fun pushing myself out of my comfort zone, trying a new medium and sort of seeing how that might affect my work. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. <laughs> I will see you next time, bye.